Well, again, the population of lions is increasing, of the, of the mountain lion, cougar, puma, all the same animal, is increasing. The black bear is increasing. The grizzly bear is increasing in Montana, where I, I, I live, uh, in Idaho and Wyoming. Uh, these animals are increasing in numbers. People are increasing. People are camping out a lot more. And the only word of advice I can give you, because only two years ago, and I've done this for 40-something years, my wife and I were hiking, and sure enough, a grizzly comes up with two two-year-olds, and the one comes right at us. And one thing that's a key, Pierce, of all this, is you do not run from a wild animal. That's a mountain lion, uh, I'm, not, I'm sorry, a bear, a bear, black or grizzly, a fox, a wolf, whatever it is, do not run. People, young people have to understand this. Carry your bear spray. If you live in these areas, uh, bear spray, some people say mace, but it's not pepper spray. Uh, it's a big canister. That's what helped me and saved my, my you know what, my tail when this bear came uh, uh, for me. It was just a, a young black bear trying to prove, or a young grizzly trying to prove himself. It's very important, the bear spray. Guns, uh, it's proven that 90% of the time the bear will turn around and or uh, whatever it might be, mountain lion, whatever that might be. But you, a grizzly bear can run 100 yards in six seconds. Six seconds of football field. You cannot run. It's a wow. hard thing to understand. But you have to stand there and make noise because the minute you turn, that's like a, a fleeing animal to them. They're not man-eaters, a bear and or a shark and or whatever it is. So like the shark thing you mentioned, uh, that uh, surfboard or paddle board, they were around seals, right? That kind of looks like a big old seal, doesn't it? But it's going much slower. So what would you do if you were a shark? And I've had the fortunate experience to dive with great whites, to dive with the tiger sharks in the South Pacific. And so these animals aren't after people. You know, it, it disturbs me. They say, oh, it's a man-eater. Yes, because they relate man to food. If people feed the gators, then the gator relates that person to food. If you leave your picnics in Montana or Idaho, wherever you hike in Arizona or wherever state has black bears or grizzlies, you leave a food there at the picnic place, they're going to come back. Like the lady, those little bears in the car and the, and the mother bear, they went back to cars all the time. That's because they found their food in a car the first time. So that, they relate the car to food. That's like all these animals you've discussed tonight. I mean, there are extraordinary pictures. Uh, the guy in California in a kayak. Let's just take a look at this. Yeah, that's... that's <laughs> I mean, that, that's the same with this kayak, but he, he actually got approached by a, a great white, they believe. Um, but what do you do if you're in a kayak in the ocean? People are out there swimming now. It's the summer. It's very hot. We know that. A lot of people are going swimming to cool down. Uh, what do you do if right. you get approached by well, a very large shark? This is the one in Cape well, Cod. This is the you, one, actually, I think is the Great White. There were two incidents, one in California, which is the one we just saw with the, the bitten kayak. Right. This is another guy. I mean, look at him there. I mean, that, that is apparently a Great White coming after him. Is, is that on the East Coast, right? Is that New York State? I can't remember where that one happened. I think it was, was where Cape there's some Cod, seals yeah. and sea lions or something out there. Right. Again, if there's seals in the area and you're surfing or whatever, kayaking or paddle boarding, in that area, then you can guarantee that there might be some sharks and other predatory animals in that area. And so, you know, my advice is, is to probably get away from them and not do that. 